Just to remind you then, we're looking at this question for our controlled assessment. The Blue Peter interview is aimed at children, the 60 Minutes interview is aimed at adults. Discuss the ways the author J.K. Rowling and the interviewers adapt their spoken language and the subjects being discussed for each audience. J.K. Rowling responds differently when discussing different subjects, explore possible reasons for her reactions, and how the interviewers change their spoken language to prompt and encourage J.K. Rowling to share the most information. In this video, we're going to talk through the first transcript for the 60 Minutes interview. So this is the one aimed at adults, and we're going to look at what makes the spoken language within this more appropriate and suitable for adults, and just a few of the points you might want to make although there will be additional points you can uh, discover for yourself as well by re-watching the videos and having another look through the transcript. Alright, immediately from the first line, we know this isn't so much suitable for children because of this word nostalgia. So that's quite a higher register word, um, slightly more advanced vocabulary. Nostalgia means sort of fond memories for a happy time in your life. But a lot of children won't know what that word means and may not be old enough to even have ever, ever experienced a sense of nostalgia. So straight away we know this is more appropriate for adults in terms of the language being used. If we look at the subject she's talking about in this interview clip, it's all about childhood. So at first perhaps we might think it is suitable for children. But if we look at the way she talks about her childhood, which from this interview wasn't a particularly happy one, she hasn't got particularly positive feelings about childhood, then we can tell it isn't really suitable for children. If you were talking to a child about what it's like to be a child, then you would focus very much on the positive aspects, you should try and sound very excited and interested and make it sound like a really good time. But if you look at some of the words which I've highlighted, J.K. Rowling is using words such as weightless, powerless, vicious, bullied, uh, going home in tears, and she uses the word unhappy quite a lot. So making it into quite a negative subject which wouldn't be appropriate for children. However for adults she's kind of exploring this subject from an adult perspective and in quite a lot of depth. So that would make it more appropriate to adults. If you think about words such as vicious as well, like nostalgia, you're not as likely to use that with children. It's a very negative word and if you look at how she pronounces the word in the video clip, she actually puts a lot of emphasis on it to really show and emphasise just how horrible children can be. She says, like, they can be vicious. She really emphasises that word. Uh, this bit's interesting. We have the interviewer makes a statement to get J.K. Rowling to talk. So she says, you were an unhappy child. To which J.K. Rowling responds, not really. No, I don't think I was an unhappy child. So from her perspective, she wasn't that unhappy. But if we look at how many times she's using the word unhappy in her response, that may cause us to question that. You know, she's very fixated on this word. I wouldn't look back and say I was an unhappy child, but I there were times I was unhappy. The point I'm making is that I can remember how unhappy I was, unlike many adults who will have looked back and will have been just as unhappy. So we have again and again this word unhappy, it's very negative. You're not going to be talking about being unhappy with children or two children. She does a bit of a voice here. So this bit sometimes confuses people. She's almost sort of quoting what she thinks other adults feel. So many adults will look back and they will go, oh, it was a golden time, it was a golden time. And they're forgetting that if you really talk to them, then they will go, yeah, there was a boy who used to wait for me on the corner of our street every day with a cricket bat. Now with that phrase, she's not saying that she had that experience necessarily. She's giving it as an example of things which might have happened to children, but which they then forget as an adult. So she gives this scenario, there was a boy every day who used to wait for me with a cricket bat. And then she says this little phrase after it. Yeah, that sounds delightful. You must have just loved that. Now, of course, she doesn't think it is delightful. Delightful being one of the few positive words she's used in here. This little phrase is sarcastic. Yeah, that sounds delightful. Well, no, it's not. But children wouldn't necessarily understand the sarcasm there. So again, this use of sarcasm suggests that this is an interview aimed mainly at adults, 
because it's not really appropriate for children. They wouldn't get a lot out of it. They wouldn't understand it. There's a little bit of light-hearted humour here. Jackie Rowling is laughing at this point. But overall, it's not a particularly sort of jolly interview. It's not the sort of thing that would maintain a child's interest. And if you look at the length of responses, Jackie Rowling is going into quite a lot of detail. She's talking for quite a few seconds altogether here. Children don't need quite that much depth of explanation and they would potentially lose the thread of what she's saying and maybe become uh, bored with it and understand it less. So if this was aimed at children, these responses would be a lot shorter and snappier to keep their interest.